Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Katie here. I am so glad that you are joining us today. Today's video is a lot different than anything else I have ever put on this channel, and I have no idea what you guys are gonna think of it. So please let me know down in the comments if you love it, if you hate it. I just wanna know your honest feedback. But I have been talking a lot about the Purely Preschool curriculum that we are using with our girls this year. And because it is a brand new curriculum and nobody knows much about it at all, I thought it might be helpful to show you guys what a week's worth of lessons look like with this curriculum. It is very uniquely designed to have lots of repetition, but to look at things from several different perspectives. And so I thought it might be helpful just to share that with you guys and what that actually looks like. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel, we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are gonna help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys our purely preschool spring unit. I'm gonna take you along on lesson one with us. So come do a lesson, let's get started. And that's what we're gonna follow today. So day one, we're gonna read both books. They have two books for each week. And we're studying chicks and eggs, so we're gonna read both of these books together. We're gonna do our alphabet activity, so all I had to do was make a copy or print out the letter E for both of my girls. <laughs> to draw! To draw on, yes. And then we're gonna introduce the science and health and safety learning statements. These are these amazing pictures they have in here. I've laminated those, so we're gonna introduce those topics. We're gonna introduce the new song for the lesson and listen to it, and then they have some talk about questions to go along with the book. So that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, stop that egg, Hank called, and the egg kept going. It rolled over and over past the pig pen. Stop that egg, Hen called. Yeah. One morning, little chick hopped across the yard and she hopped right into the edge of her garden, and that's where she sat waiting for her carrot to grow. Okay, so I'm gonna show you our cards. We have two things we're learning this week, okay? It's that chicks hatch from eggs. So what do they do? Can you say that with me? Chicks hatch from eggs. So chicks hatch from eggs. Good job, chicks hatch from eggs. And then another thing we're gonna be working on this week is I pick up my toys after I play. Can you say that with me? I pick up my toys after I play. In the story of the chick that wouldn't hatch, why do you think that the egg wouldn't hatch? Because it wasn't ready? So we're gonna do our alphabet one. We're gonna color the big letter E for egg. All chicks hatch. Yeah, all chicks hatch from eggs. So we're going to color our letter. What letter is that? E. Letter E for eggs. We're going to do what our lesson taught us and we're gonna pick up our toys and that's our crayons. We're gonna pick up our toys and we're gonna put them away when we're all done with them. You can do more later in a minute, but we're gonna pick up our toys first. Pick up, oh, there's a crayon behind you. Oh, so good. Oh, such good helpers, thank you. All right, can you put it back in the school box? Can you put it back in the school box? Oh, very good. Good job, high five. All right, today is day two of Purely Preschool. We're getting ready to get started and I can't wait to show you guys what it's like. So for today, we're going to read both books again. We're going to do our early math activity. We're gonna do a let's play activity. Practice again, our science and health topics. Um, and then we're going to sing and dance to the song in this lesson. So heavy. Okay, ready? The chick that wouldn't hatch. Who's the author? Um, the author does what? Uh, writes, the words. writes the words. And the illustrator? 
the illustrator on some pictures. The chick that wouldn't hatch. There were six eggs in hen's nest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, exactly. And chip, 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 out popped five chicks. My family, cried hen. Okay, so, no, I didn't get baby chicks. There are no baby chicks in these eggs. Okay, so, for today, for our math activity, we're going to count, Oh, we have to be very careful with the eggs. We're going to count the eggs. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, six. Three, no, we gotta go slow. Three, four, five, 15, 16. How many eggs are there? 16. 16, there are 16 eggs. How do we hold an egg? Very carefully. We can't drop it. Hold it very, why? Because it'll explode. What happened? You tried to yank the egg from mama and what happened? Okay, well let's, might as well take it as a learning opportunity. If we take it, what's inside? What do you see is inside? What color is that? What color is that? Orange. Orange, yeah, orange is yellow, right? <laughs> yes, we learned about eggs and gravity. Now everybody's washed up, right? No salmonella here, but good learning opportunity. Right, so so since we were talking about eggs, let's do our thing. Chicks hatch from eggs. What does it say? Chicks. Hatch from eggs. And then our skill for this week is I pick up my toys after I play. I pick up my toys after I play. Good job. All right, so for our play activity, since we're gonna play, we're gonna cut out these cool shapes. These are all the animals that the egg roll by in our seat. Are their feet the same or different? Different. Different. Now, how are they the same? Yeah, they're both birds, which means they have feathers. feathers. You're right. They both have feathers. All right, our song for this week is Old McDonald. So let's do it with our cars. So ready? Old McDonald had a farm, E I E I O, and on his farm he had a chicken. Chicken. E I E I O. Okay, now, hold on, we're all done with school, but first, what is our rule? We have to what? We have to pick up our toys, or our stuff, after we play. All right, so it's day three, and we're gonna start day three with these two little squirts. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so for day three, we're gonna read the books again, and um, plus an additional themed picture book. So sometimes in the schedule, they actually will have an additional book. It's only two books required each week, but sometimes they'll have an additional book. Okay, so we only have two for chicks, but sometimes they have a third one. All right, so which one do you wanna read first? That one. That's still your favorite? So let's practice our cards. Hey, let's practice our cards. It says, I, what? I pick after I play. So say it together. I pick up my toys after I play. And then we've got this one that says, chicks. Say it together, chicks hatch from eggs. How many baby chicks are in this picture? One, two. So how many? Two. Two, yes, two. One, two, two baby chicks. And they all hatch from? Eggs. Eggs. Okay, so our life skill today is we're gonna learn how to pour water into glasses for family meals. 
<gasps> Does that sound fun? Yeah. I think we're gonna do it outside though. Cause you guys are kinda messy, okay? Let's do it. So, we're gonna learn how to pour cup, pour water into our cup, okay? How do you think we do it? Do you think we use one hand or two hands? One. Two hands, you're right. We use two hands. I'm gonna show you first. So we're going to take this. I'm gonna use one hand because I'm a big I'm a big kid, okay? But you have to use two hands. So you're gonna grab it and you're gonna pour it. And then you're gonna stop, okay? So let's dump it back in. All right, Olivia, you wanna try first? Yeah. Okay. Good girl, good girl, you got it. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, let's see. All right. Oh, hold on. I'll hold on to the cup for you. <laughs> I know it's a big picture. Woo! <laughs> what happened? You spilled. This is why we did it outside. So, what can we do different next time? No, not inside. What can we do different? Maybe do a little bit less? Yeah. Should we try it again and try a little bit less water? Yeah. Okay, let's try again, okay? Hey, you got this, high five. Come on, grab the water and dump it back in. We'll try just a little bit less water this time. Oh! <laughs> hey, you know what? Sometimes we make messes and that's okay. Can we try it again? Okay, so you can try it one more time, okay? With less water. Okay, ready? <laughs> you guys are having fun in the water, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be like our egg. And we're going to see how it rolls on different things. Okay? Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Let's... In the pool. <laughs> we're not going to roll it in the pool. We're going to go roll it on the grass. Okay? Sound good? Let's go. <laughs> All right, you're going to be the, the mama chicken? Yeah. Okay. So put this down, mama chicken, wherever you want it. All right, so today is day four, but today is not Thursday. Today is actually the following Monday. So a week from when we started this program. And this is what I like about this program, is that you can just do it when you have time. Because with your preschoolers, things inevitably come up and you may not get around to doing school every day and that is totally fine because we do lots of learning and play um, anyways. So we're just gonna pick up right where we left off. We're gonna do day four today and day five tomorrow. And that's the other reason why I like the fact that when you purchase these units, you purchase them as a unit. So it's about one month's worth of work or it is one month's worth of work. However, knowing that life comes up and things happen, um, we can just take it at whatever pace we get through and we don't have to worry about purchasing the next one till we get close to finishing this, which makes it a money saver as well. So let's jump in to day four. All right, so for day four, we're gonna talk about the picture books we've read. So we wouldn't have to read them today. So we'll probably just talk about it, um, but we might read one if they want to. And then we're gonna do the love homework activity, which is asking your families questions about themselves and they have some sample ones that they can ask. Um, we're gonna practice our Bible verse and we're going to go over again our health and safety cards and then we're gonna sing and dance to our song for this lesson, yes. You don't want to just talk about it? You want to read it again? Okay, that's fine. And that's the thing. Kids love repetition. They do not mind reading the same book over and over again, do you? You like it, right? All right, let's read. All right, let's do our cards. What does it say? Chicks. Cats. Eggs. What is it? Chicks. Good job! And what I says, I pick. Yes, let's say it together. I pick up my toys after I play. 
Okay, so now we're going to do our Bible verse for today. Psalm 51:10. So, create in me a pure heart. Oh God. And renew a steadfast spirit within me. Now we're gonna do our love homework for today, okay? So our love homework, it says, ask someone in our family a question about themselves. You could ask, what is your favorite fruit? Or what do you like to do for fun? So should we go ask your brothers and sisters that? Yeah. All right, let's go, let's go. No, you ask her what her favorite fruit is. All right, so now all we have left is we need to do our sing and dance to our song. Are you ready? Stand up. Stand up, ready? What's your song? Um, Old what? Old MacDonald had a fun E-I-E-I-O. All right, are you girls ready for today? Yeah. Day five? Do you know, without me showing you the cards, do you remember what they say? Chicks. And I, I pick up my toys after I play. Good job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys just going to hold hands? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. All right. So we already did our cards. So let's do our Bible verse again. That's not on the list today, but let's do our Bible verse again. Okay. Create in me a pure heart, oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Okay, so now we're gonna do, we're gonna watch a video of a chick hatching from an egg. Do you wanna watch that? Okay, let's do it. The chick that wouldn't hatch. Yes, the chick that wouldn't hatch. Another thing that I love about this is that they have other ideas of things if you want to expand beyond yeah. what we've already talked about here. They give you ideas of things you can look up or do activities on. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Looking at the cards. Oh yeah? Do you like the cards? Yeah. That one's upside down. <laughs> what do they say? Chicks hatch from eggs. And what does yours say? After I play, perfect. What is it? Chickies. They're hot. And they have a heart on them. Are you going to color them while I cut out the egg? Yeah. That one's mine. Yep. And you already have yours. All right, you guys color. Yeah. Do you need some help? Oh, you got it. Good job. I hope you have enjoyed our video today. And honestly, guys, this has been an amazing experience getting to do this curriculum. I'm looking forward to continuing this on into next year. One of the things that I had feedback on for the author and creator of Purely Preschool was that I would love some kind of printable guide that helped me to think of different ways to approach the book each time we read it. Because as you saw, we read it each and every day. And so I wanted different questions to ask or things so that we were we're covering lots of different topics and they actually have created the very thing that I was asking for and that is available to you guys completely free I will drop the link down in the description below that you guys can sign up and get that email to you completely free that is a great guide whether you're using purely preschool or you're using something else that can help you learn how to read through books repetitively but gain different things from each reading so I hope you guys will go check that out I hope you'll be back for Saturday's video and we'll talk to you later. Bye.